Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yamu. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now. If you are new to my channel, please watch my previous videos. Okay, today I will show you how I got this amazing rose petals falling manipulation. Uh, today I want to tell you something guys. Uh, photo manipulation tutorials is not all about coping in the past stocks of photo tutorials but uh, you can use some ideas and you can create your own magic by watching tutorial you can use your own idea to get something different if you want my my stock i used in this manipulation the link is below description i'll, I'll import there so you can download it for free okay let's go to the photoshop Uh, this is my image so the process we do is it's the same process as we do to the previous videos of manipulation first you want to to expand your your background uh, to me i want to rotate it because it's not looking good so i'll use club tool and then Starting expand my background. I'll expand it until it's look good. Expanding the, the height and width of your, your, your background, it de depends on what you want to create. To me, I wanted to create laws, petals, falling, manipulation. So, it's need a large area to show the laws falling. That's why I expand it at a large scale. expanding so I want to to make my background with the th same color the process is the same as we do to the previous videos you will select your image And then select the inverse, let click, then fill, content aware, content aware, okay. You wait until your, your process complete. taking too long okay it's done so you see my background with the same color I fix this area by filling again
now it's perfect so control j to duplicate layer and then you will start after duplicate, duplicating layer you will start selecting subject selecting subject as usual Okay, make sure you, you select your subject well and fix some areas you see it's don't selected. Select it very, very careful. After my subject is being selected well, what to do is to select to 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 select layer mask, and then come to down layer, duplicate layer, go to the select subject again. Go to the select subject again. After select after select subject, you are done layer. Go to the select, modify, expand. I put it 30 and uh, go to the fill content aware. Okay. Okay. My subject will be removed from the background. So, as you see, my subject will be removed like this. Deselect. Then I will start to clear my background. I will start to clear my background like this. Select the areas you want to clear. I want to remove that line here, so I will remove by doing this process. Deselect. Go to the hue and saturation and remove magenta and ready. Okay.
go to the upper layer here in the saturation again remove magenta only because if you remove red it will move the red to the subject also so your model will be not good color go to the overlays file and i want to put this file there is an elephant here so i want to remove content aware fill for that process i will remove some black permissions here select my my background overlay and i put it here to match with the background i add this 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 overlay because i want to put some textures to my background you see so come to my down background layer and start to clean it I clean it very careful okay after cleaning my background I'll proceed in my process I want to add the I want to add some loose, some losing details before I clean in the background. I want to add some blur to my background. Go to the Tifty Blur filter, Tifty Blur. And then increase 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 some blur to my background. I think here it's enough to me. Yeah, here it's enough to me. I want to add another overlay so I go to my my overlay file and choose this one and then place to my Adobe Photoshop I place here you'll see here yeah, I placed the here I add this overlay because I want to 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 add some textures and a good looking go to my blending mode Yeah, I think overlay, overlay, it's it's looking good to me. Okay, go to my upper layer, and then go to the hue and saturation again. Remove magenta and increase, decrease lightness, increase darkness. Okay. go to the hue and saturation again this time remove red because the shoe of my model is is some reddish colors so i don't want them control create a clipping mask and then control i and then start painting to the areas i want to remove reddish color paint it to my shoe of my model here very careful because when it's it's painted to, to the body it's also remove a red to the body and all we know the the body contain more reddish so very careful
after all now is a process to add some rose petals some falling rose petals to make more realistic manipulation so due to this process I will go very fast because I think it's not it's not so hard to to, to press these PNGs As I told you guys, if you want these stocks I used in this tutorial, I'll put the link of free download of this stock down here on my description. And I remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe now. Don't leave this, don't leave this channel before you subscribe. Okay, let's proceed. I'll go very fast because I think it's not it's not hard to to, to place this this PNG this this falling petals. And now I will add some bra some bra to to some petals some petals to make more realistic especially this this large petals is like it seemed like was come closer to, to 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 my lens of camera so when it's come closer to my lens of camera it means the camera focus point was to my mode so other things that are far away my model it should be looking looking bra so i add some bra to my to my petals here
after all so now i will do retouching i using frequency separation my gaussian bar my my my, my radius set, setup was three and uh, i use mixer brush tool and then starting brushing careful like this mm -hmm. After after retouching, so I'm starting doing dodge and bunny to make my, my, my picture, my image look so beautiful. So now I will add some laning petals in front of my model. I'll place them in front of my model to make it more realistic because when he, you say your rose petals was was raining there are, is so difficult to rain at the back only of, of your model so you should put some petals in front of her to make it more realistic now I added some cars I'll do color grading so to me I have some rats here I use a lot to, to, to color grade my, 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 my images and also if you want this if you want this rat please join us on our telegram group you'll get it for free thank you for watching guys until next time bye bye <laughs>